Why are people so set on negative gearing? I can't tell you how many times I've heard someone say to me, oh, make sure it's negative geared. You don't want it, you know, why are they like that? Um, I, I think I think there's a lot of com, um, confusion around negative gearing and negative cash flow. So every property is has negative gearing benefits. Every single property. You can't really buy investment property without negative gearing be benefits because all it means is you're going to get tax deductions from the tax man. But every investment property do, uh, does. Brand new investment properties have a lot more tax benefits or negative gearing benefits from uh, because of something called depreciation, which you with uh, with the existing property you basically lose most of that depreciation benefits because this is prim primarily targeted at encouraging us, you know, um, Australians to buy investment properties. Um, but so every property you get that. But where it's important is. What we care about as investors, I mean, if you think about it logically, is cash flow at the end of the day. So as long yeah. as we have positive cash flow, it doesn't matter whether the property is, or, or every property has negative gearing benefits, but what you want to have is ideally that your property, you want your property to be positive cash flow even before tax deductions. And with tax deductions, it just adds to that cash flow, which is an additional bonus.